right, my name's Nathan McGrew. This is my 1978 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. Uh, I got this car when I got laid off from uh, Boeing and I needed something to do as a daily driver when I went back to school. I searched the internet for anything that had a 350 in it that would take an LS swap easy and quick. Uh, came up with this for 1200 bucks, drove it home, took the drivetrain out of it and sold it for 600. So I had this chassis for $600. Then I was able to put my LQ4 and 4L80E in it and did it as cheap as I possibly could. And it was my daily driver for uh, about two years with uh, mild uh, head and cam. And it ran 11.7 uh, at 119 on motor. Ran it eventually with nitrous and it did uh, 1090 at 127. Slowly over the years, I kept upgrading it and changing things. I had a cam bearing walk out on me and uh, had low oil pressure. So I went ahead and rebuilt the whole thing with forged rods and pistons. Did a bigger cam, different converter. And I ended up being able to uh, run 1090 at 123 eventually on motor. I found myself uh, COVID unemployed and decided that it was time to finally do the twin turbo on the car. So I changed the cam out, got the best 72 millimeters that uh, Amazon could provide. Got it up to about 14 pounds of boost now, reliably. Ford 8.8 .8 in the rear. It had a GN 8.5 at one time, and a friend decided that he wanted the 8.5 super bad. So he gave me the 8.8 Ford and the Southside Machine truss bar kit. It's got Wildwood front brakes and the Explorer rear disc brakes. Uh, stops really well, holds boost really well on the two-step. Um, and overall, it's just a really fun car. Still has a lot to be sorted out. Still doesn't have a cage in it. Need to get that done soon. Um, but right now, with the way life is going, it's really nice to be able to go out into my car, run down the road a couple times, just kind of relax and forget about all of life's troubles for a little bit. Latches. And the reason I did those is because I had to delete the uh, latch for the hood because I cut the uh, radiator support. I just got a square one inch tube and uh, I welded that in place. And you know, this is just a, a sloppy build. Everything's the cheapest that Amazon provides. So although this is super inconvenient when I have to go get gas, every time I go get gas and I do this, some dude walks up to me and starts talking about how awesome my car is. And all I want to do is get gas. So it's just a jazz fuel cell. I've got the vent and the uh, return plumbed into the top. I have the battery in the Moroso box. Do you run pump gas? Yes, I'm currently running pump gas on 14 pounds with the meth. Okay. Plan is to max it out using probably C16 or C12. Yeah. Um, super, because it's a fuel cell, it's super easy to drain it out, put whatever gas in it I want when I'm at the track. So in the interior, I'm actually still in process of finishing the dash. It's a Malibu fiberglass dash. It started because my tachometer died on me, so I got a matching tachometer from Speed Hut to go with the other two gauges I have. It's a GPS Speedo, and then the quad gauge. Right now I have a Go Fast Bits boost controller. I'm in the middle of developing my own boost controller, because I, I do take this on rides with my wife all the time. In fact, the passenger seat was a bit of a project in itself. This was a bench seat car, so I had to weld in the brackets for the bucket seats. And then the last time we were out, she was having trouble hearing the stereo. 
<laughs> so I upgraded and made sure that you can hear the stereo now. 